When Trinity went off, gadget compressed, created this environment, vaporized this material, you created an extreme environment. All these things contributed to create what is known as a quasi-crystal. So quasi-crystals are a form of material that's different than the normal forms of material you think about. So this is clearly the first anthropogenic quasi-crystal ever formed. And it gives us a chance to really understand these extreme environments and what it's doing to the materials. On July 16, 1945, we had the first nuclear weapons test. It was codenamed Trinity, and it was a test of a device which we codenamed Gadget. Gadget was a spherical ball, maybe a meter, meter and a half. And what it had is a plutonium core. It's made of a material that's man-made, plutonium, plutonium-239, surrounded by a sheath of high explosives. When the button was pushed, the high explosives went off, they squeezed that plutonium and started a chain reaction. You created or you vaporized that plutonium core in a fraction of a second. In that fraction of a second, all the energy is released and you create tremendous temperatures. The temperatures are tens of millions of degrees, much hotter than the sun. And that tremendous temperature creates a fireball. And that fireball vaporizes everything around it and it begins to expand and eventually begins to rise up into a mushroom cloud, but it's like a hot air balloon. As it rises and expands, it cools. Because of this extreme environment, it freezes in something that is dependent on temperature and shock. And then it contains materials that came likely from either the recording instrumentation or perhaps even the device itself. And those things give us insight into what that actual nuclear test was. But the quasi-crystals potentially add a new tool to our toolbox for understanding nuclear tests of our own and other countries that occurred in the past.